Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to learn about using strict mode. Strict mode is a new addition to JavaScript that you could optionally add to your code that makes it a little bit stricter in terms of how things are processed and what you could do. So at a high level, when we work with strict mode, first we're going to find that there are more errors that occur when previously we might have got a silent error or a warning or nothing at all. Also, strict mode is going to help with prohibiting the use of words that may be used in future versions of JavaScript. So if we know that something is going to be coming out down the road, it can be added in strict mode to make sure that we're not using that. And then finally, behind the scenes, there are some benefits to how strict mode operates to allow engines to process JavaScript faster during the compile time and during runtime of our JavaScript applications. So we'll look in more depth at specific instances of how strict mode applies to our code and how it's different than non-strict mode, but this works for a high level understanding. Now to apply it to our code, there's two different ways. The first is at the very first line of our JavaScript file, we could write use strict in quotations and that will apply to the entire file. So everything that comes after that point will have to be operating and will be applied to in strict mode. Now we could also do this at the function level. So because of how scope works in JavaScript, which we'll explore more in this section, um, we can apply use strict to just a particular function. So this may be helpful because if you go back and try to just add use strict to all your existing JavaScript, you might, you might find that things are breaking. So it might be easier to start applying at a smaller level of just applying to certain functions, or you know that you only want to apply it to that level for some reason. However, most of the time we're gonna add it as the very first line in our code. And in general, you should be starting to add this in because it is kind of the future proofing and, and direction that JavaScript is heading. However, I wouldn't necessarily go add it to all your existing projects without really understanding what it might break or what might occur when you do that. So to get a little bit more specific with strict mode, first of all, you'll find that you need to use var, let, or const when assigning variables. It is possible in JavaScript previously to just write a variable name equals and assign it a value, but that is going to throw an error. And part of that has to do with scoping and making sure that you're being a little bit stricter in how you're typing. Now you don't have to declare what type of variable it is, for example, saying string number, etc., but you do have to use var, let, or const when assigning a variable for the first time. And then you're going to find that there are certain things, like I said before, that in the past might not have thrown an error. They might have silently fallen or they might have just been a warning, but now they are going to throw an error. And actually the adding var letter const is one of them. Now there are some other things like object properties. If you've assigned them a certain way, you can no longer delete them. In the past that kind of was allowed to happen or would pretend it's happening and nothing really happened and um, is happening behind the scenes. So again, strict mode is just trying to be more clear about what's happening. Now you may not uh, necessarily be using this and we'll look at some examples of this in the next video. So some of these may not be something that applies to every day. And I wanna just kind of show you some of that range here. Also, when you're setting up parameters in the past, you could actually name something the same name twice and that's not allowed. So again, just uh, stricter code, all good practices so far in this case. If you've ever used something called octal syntax, um, probably not too common in your average web development, but what is one of the ways of uh, formatting and writing things out. Now we have to have a zero O at the beginning of it to prefix that. So again, if something you haven't been using, not too big of a concern. We'll look at an example in the next video, but just laying some of this out. And then finally, you will often hear about JavaScript strict mode being a little bit more secure. And one of the ways it does that is prevent you from calling this and getting the window object. Now we'll look at more about this later on. So some of this may make more sense later, but uh, we'll show some examples of how this uh, works. And the reason that can be a little bit of a security benefit is then somebody can't just call the global scope and get access to things very easily. It is still somewhat possible. So we still do want to be careful with JavaScript, but it will prevent us from accessing uh, this in our code without the context of being scoped or bound to something. 
So like I said before, in general, try to use strict mode on all your new JS projects going forward. I wouldn't worry too much about projects that already exist trying to go back and make that work. But remember, it has to be the very first line in your code. And in the next video, we will look at some practice with each of the different things that JavaScript strict mode does. And like I said, some of them will apply to you, some of them won't. But either way, helpful to know what it is really doing behind the scenes when you start adding it to your code.